Hello everybody! From this video, you'll learn how to access a computer from your smartphone, tablet or another computer and how to control a computer remotely over the network using a smartphone or another computer with the help of Google Chrome. There are many ways to get access to a computer with third-party utilities like TeamViewer or VNC, but if you have Google Chrome installed on your PC, you can set up remote access with the help of this browser and a special extension – Chrome Remote Desktop. It provides you with the kind of remote access which is both absolutely free and unlimited to use. All that being said, it doesn't matter what kind of operating system you are using. Windows, macOS, or Linux, this feature is available as long as you can install Google Chrome and the corresponding extension to access the computer from a smartphone. Before you can set up Chrome Remote Desktop, you need to sign into your Google account so that all functions become available. After that, let's configure the computer you'd like to control remotely. Open the browser and go to the Remote Access web page. In the Setup Remote Access window, click on the blue download icon. In the Chrome Web Store window that opens, click Add to Chrome, Add Extension, Install. Accept and install. In the next window, type the computer's name and click Next. At the next stage, you need to set up a PIN for access to this computer. It should contain at least six numbers. Enter the PIN again to confirm and then click Start. That's all. Now you can access this computer from your phone or from another PC. This computer will be available at any time when it is powered on and Google Chrome is running. If you configure Google Chrome to start automatically with Windows, this PC will be available at any time unless it enters the sleep mode. To make sure the connection is not interrupted, configure the computer's power options so that it never goes to sleep mode even if the display shuts off. When your host PC is configured for connections, all you have to do is to access it from your phone is to download a special app from Play Store or Apple Store. It is called Remote Desktop and install it on that phone. When you start the app, you'll see the computer with the access to which you have just configured. Just tap on it and enter the PIN you have set before. Then tap Connect. The desktop of that computer will appear on the screen of your smartphone. Now, you can move around the desktop by just moving your fingers over the smartphone screen. For example, you can scroll and zoom in or out. Swiping down in the Android app, you open a kind of a control panel that lets you switch into the trackpad mode, where you left-click by tapping the screen with one finger and right-click by tapping the screen with two fingers. Also, you can open the keyboard to add or text. If you tap on the three dots button, it opens extra options. Send the control alt delete shortcut, resize the desktop for your phone screen, and disconnect from the computer. To connect from this computer to another PC, open Google Chrome and go to the same website. You need to sign in to Chrome with the same Google account that you used on the host computer. You don't need to install any additional apps or extensions to control the host. When you follow the link, you will see the computer for which your remote access is configured. To connect, click on it and enter the PIN. When the PIN is accepted, you will see the desktop of the remote computer on your screen. You'll be able to move around the desktop, run applications, and so on, just as if you are working with that remote computer, in fact. The panel at the side of the screen will give you more options to configure the presentation and use complex commands such as Ctrl Alt Delete or Print Screen. This feature will also let you sync the clipboard between the computers so that you can copy and paste pieces of text easily from one computer to another. You can transfer files by clicking Upload File to send them to remote computer or download file to receive them at such computer. After that, the file explorer opens on the computer you are using to help you choose the file or files to transfer.
To disable remote connections, just remove the extension from the browser. Click on the extensions icon, then hit the three dots button and choose Remove from Chrome. Alternatively, you can delete the app from the system settings. Open Settings, jump to Apps, click Uninstall. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. Also, you can connect to another user's computer, for example, if you want to assist somebody remotely in configuring the operating system or installing and fine-tuning some software. To make such connection possible, the user who you want to connect to should also install Chrome Remote Desktop. After that, they need to go to the Remote Access web page by following the link or by clicking on the extension button for Chrome Remote Desktop. In the window that opens, they should choose Remote Support. In this step, use the Generate Code button and then send the code to the person who wants to connect to this PC. It is valid for 5 minutes only, and within this time, one user should send the code and the other receive an Android, then connect to the other computer remotely. For this purpose, on the other computer, look at the tab Give Support, enter the access code into this field and click the Connect button to begin. The other user will see a message saying that someone is trying to connect to this computer, but they can either allow it or forbid it, so don't worry, nobody is going to connect to your PC unless you agree to that. When the connection is established, you'll be able to help your friends or relatives to configure their computer. To end the session, click here to stop sharing. Summing up, I can say that in spite of some limitations in comparison with similar commercial products, uh, Chrome Remote Desktop is a solution which is safe, easy to set up and use, and it can work for an unlimited period of time without errors or failures. If all you need is access to a remote desktop without a bunch of extra features, it's definitely the best choice in your case. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck. While you're watching this video, civilians in Ukraine are dying from attacks and bombardments on the Russian Federation. Putin's insane regime has attacked a peaceful country in the very heart of Europe. Support the Ukrainian army by making a contribution to the fund Come Back Alive. Use the QR code or the link below the video to transfer any amount of money that will boost Ukrainian resistance and help it counter Russia's dishonorable invasion.